The concept of air suspension is nothing new. In fact, it dates back to the early 1900s. During World War II, the U.S. military developed an air suspension system for heavy aircraft. In the late 1950s, some luxury cars adopted air springs instead of steel springs. General Motors touted the air springs on the 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brougham as the first true air suspension for any automobile and said the air springs, quote, maintain the car at a constant level as well as smooth out rough roads. The 1984 Lincoln Mark 7 introduced a four-corner bag system that was controlled through the vehicle computer. This was the start of the electronically controlled air suspension systems that we have today. There was a time when air ride control was exclusively offered on luxury sedans. However, more and more OEMs are using air suspension to provide a luxury feel on SUVs, pickups, and mid-range passenger vehicles. Air ride systems not only offer luxurious ride quality, but some also are capable of adjusting ground clearance and they can increase stability for towing and hauling. At its most basic, an air ride system consists of air bladders, also referred to as air springs or bellows, a distribution system of airlines and valves, and a central compressor. A centralized electronic control unit, or ECU, controls all the components to ensure smooth operation and high quality performance. Modern air ride systems also include ride height and duty cycle sensors, and a driver interface consisting of switches and indicators. The compressor is the heart of the air suspension system, pumping air up to a maximum system pressure of 17 bar, or approximately 247 psi. It operates oil-free, without maintenance, and is designed to last the lifetime of the vehicle. However, system failures such as leakages or water ingress can cause the compressor to fail prematurely. Here's why. If the system has a leak, the compressor will have to work harder to keep the vehicle at the same ride height. And when the compressor has to work for longer periods of time, it'll get hotter. Excess heat can cause premature wear of the piston rings, and if the leak goes unchecked, it can cause the compressor to fail completely. When the pump fails, oil and metal debris can enter into the valves, reservoirs, and bladders. Vehicles that sag or lose their height overnight might have compressor problems. Malfunctioning compressors can be exacerbated by worn rubber in the air springs or struts, causing leaks in the system. Compressors that constantly run trying to level a vehicle will fail. If your customer needs to replace their compressor, they don't have to replace the entire air suspension system, and you don't have to send them to a dealership. Wabco offers its aftermarket compressors as standalone replacements for a number of popular applications. These plug-and-play compressors enable air suspension systems to achieve constant vehicle ride height, even when fully loaded, and various vehicle heights at different speeds. Wabco compressors are fitted as original equipment in a wide range of high-end SUVs, premium passenger cars, and luxury limousines worldwide. Wabco, now a brand of ZF Aftermarket, also offers OE quality replacement air compressors, ECUs, distance and pressure sensors, and solenoid valve blocks for air suspension systems. Thanks for watching.